Hello everyone, I am Harish from Agile Robotics Lab. Today I am going to talk about shape reconstruction of soft manipulators using vision and IMU feedback. Control of any robot is required for complex manipulation tasks like obstacle avoidance. Knowledge of shape is important for closed loop control. In rigid robots, this can be done using joint angles. However, when it comes to soft robots, this becomes a challenge due to their continuum nature. Shape reconstruction is possible using measurements from various sensors. These include fiber bracket gratings, cable encoders, stretchable sensors that measure length of the manipulator. These readings are used to form various reduced order models. Most of the models assume constant curvature or piecewise constant curvature or variable curvature approaches. There still exists need for reduced order models that can incorporate measurements from non-contact and economic sensors like IMUs and vision. Here we contributed a parametric reduced order model that is variable in curvature and also allows for imposition of length constraint. We used IMUs, vision and sensor fusion which can be used in real time shape reconstruction. The entire soft manipulator can be represented using a curve. Here each curve segment is represented by a random color. The filled circles are called knots where the sensors are placed. Two types of sensors were used. IMUs which gives the orientation at knots vision which gives position at the knots. There also exists a case where visual markers may be occluded. For n segments, there exists n plus 1 sensors placed at predefined length intervals. This length can be taken as a constraint and is defined as shown in the equation, where ri represents the curve segment and s is the curvilinear coordinate. However, here this equation doesn't have a closed form solution. A special class of curves called Pythagorean holograph curves were used as a reduced order model. The holograph is the first derivative of the curvilinear coordinate. For spatial curve, the summation of square of these polynomial functions will result in a square of a new polynomial function sigma s. Now when this polynomial is substituted into the length equation, it will result in a closed form solution, allowing for imposing length constraints. Based on the sensor's output, three subproblems were designed. First one is vision giving positions, second is IMUs giving slopes and the third is using IMUs with occluded positions. Each subproblem is combined with length constraint and solved for minimum bending energy using optimization function. Using this, a parametric polynomial equation is obtained for each curve segment which is nothing but the reconstructed shape. The model is tested using a tensegrity manipulator. The shape of the manipulator can be changed by changing the length of the cables. The yellow circles indicate the visual markers and IMUs were also placed at the same location. The entire manipulator length is of about 525 mm which is divided into three equal segments. By changing the length of the tendons, four different canonical poses are obtained where the sensor measurements were recorded. These poses were taken such that there exist different curvature profiles along the length of the manipulator as shown here. Coming to the results for shape reconstruction using vision as input. Before determining the shape, the model is tested for robustness to vision sensor noise. Since the markers were of size 6 mm by 3 mm, a random noise of plus or minus 3 mm is induced. As it can be seen, there is no major deviation. Now using the positional data, the reconstructed shape is as shown in the figure for all the poses. The red curve represents the ground truth and the blue curve represents the estimated curve. Two error matrices were used to calculate the accuracy of the reconstructed shape. First one is the root mean square error between the ground truth and the estimated curve. The maximum error was found to be 7.32 mm. Second error metric was n naught distance between the ground truth and the estimated curve. The maximum error here is also for the first pose which was about 7 mm. Now shape reconstruction using input from IMUs. Here also the model is tested for sensor noise and the robustness results are obtained for plus or minus 2.5 degree random noise. The results indicate the stability of the model. Now using the slopes from the IMUs, the estimated shapes are as shown in this figure. The same error matrices were used. For root mean square error, the maximum is obtained at post 4 which is about 12 mm and for n naught, it is for post 2 about 22 mm. These errors may be due to the noise obtained from the IMU sensors. Now coming to the shape reconstruction using the sensor fusion. Since there exist different cases of positional information missing, all different cases were taken into account with slope data available at all the nodes. It took about 15 milliseconds to estimate a curve using Intel i7 processor. 
both root mean square and n0 distance were calculated for all the sensor fusion cases for four different poses. The error seems to be increasing for the cases where optimization function was unable to achieve an optimum solution. This may be due to missing of material properties inside the model. Now coming to the conclusion, we used a model for length constraint based multi-segment shape reconstruction where each segment can have variable curvature. Robustness analysis indicated the stability of the algorithm to sensor's noise. Shape is reconstructed with position or slopes or using sensor fusion. In future, we are going to work on real-time spatial shape reconstruction, a minimum number of sensors required, and also inclusion of material properties. Thank you for your attention.